Papa belle papa wa. Hello friends, Mark Piotter here with the tenor saxophone. Today we are going to try 10 different reeds from five different manufacturers and let's get started with them now. Reed number one comes from the Rico Company. This is a number two and a half plastic cover for tenor saxophone. This type of reed has been around a long time if you've never tried it. It's worth the three or four bucks to buy one and try it out. The reed starts as just an ordinary Rico reed and then they spray this coating on top as you can see which seals up the pores and gives it kind of a buzzy edgy tone to it. It's got an interesting sound to it that you might like. It might be good for you. Read number two will be the Legier or Laguerre. This is a synthetic read. They say it's mostly a nylon material. This is the Signature Series 2.5. <laughs> Read number three is going to be the Legere Signature Series two and three quarters. Read number four is a fibrocell reed. They tell me that these are made partially out of Kevlar. These reeds look and feel closer to a cane reed. They even have that textured scratchiness on the top there. But it is definitely a synthetic reed. <laughs> With the fiber cell reed, I find that I need to take considerably more reed in my mouth to reach my altissimo notes as compared to other reeds. Reed number five, also from fiber cell, this is the four and a half. <laughs> Fibercell four and a half feels the same as the number four on that first half inch of the reed, and then it gradually gets thicker, which improves my ability to hit altissimo at all. For reed number six, let's go back to the Legier company. They make more than the signature cut. They also make a classic, which I'm not going to demonstrate today. However, let me just say that the classic cut is definitely their firmest reed even comparable to the Van Doren Blue Box. So here comes read number six from Legere. They also make something called the Studio Cut. The Studio Cut is ever so slightly easier to blow than the Signature Cut. Let's give it a try right now. Here's a 2.5. <laughs> As with all the synthetic reeds, the intonation can be a little squirrely until you get used to it. You really need to develop a good set of armature chops. I used this reed a couple of weeks ago for a 50s show and it worked great. Uh, if there was any complaint, it's just that it's not quite as loud as some of the other reeds, but that didn't matter at all with my clip-on microphone. Reed number seven. Let's try the Legere Studio Cut 2.75 or two and three quarters. A little bit further than the 2.5 studio, which gives me back that barky volume level. Read number eight comes from Harry Hartman. This is called the Fiber Read. 
The fiber reed comes in different styles now. I only have this uh, black model to demonstrate today. We're going to try both a medium hard and a hard. Let's do the medium hard first. <laughs> This reed is fairly soft, reminds me a lot of the fiber cell number four. A little harder for me to get my altissimo from it. And now for reed number nine, the fiber reed hard. <laughs> I played several jazz gigs with this reed last year. It's just a little bit more buzzy than the Legere signature model and just a little bit easier to blow. Before we go to reed number 10, I want to talk about reed number 11, which I don't have right now, but I've had this reed in the past. It is from a company called Forest One, or you might say Forest Tone. And this company now makes five different types of reeds. This was the first one that they had, and they now call it the traditional. It's a very easy to blow reed. It has some buzziness to it. Just briefly, I think you would compare this reed to the Legere Studio Cut or the Fibrocell for similar qualities. And now for reed number 10, this is also from Forest Stone or Forest One. They're calling this one the White Bamboo. It just barely has a little texture here on the top. And this is a number 3.5 we're going to try. <laughs> I used this at a rehearsal about a week ago, and I noticed that the reed is a little bit too soft for me. I think I would prefer a number four. Very easy to blow, especially the low notes. One more thing that I found interesting about this reed was that it plays louder with very little effort. In summary, I would say that the easiest reed to blow was the Forest Tone White Bamboo number three and a half. It felt like it might be a Rico two and a quarter reed if Rico made such a thing as a two and a quarter reed. The next firmest reed on the list, I'm going to say is a four way tie between the Rico plastic cover two and a half, the fiber cell four, the Legere Studio 2.5, and the Harry Hartman Fiber Reed Medium Hard. All four of these reeds, I would say, are similar to the Rico two and a half. In comparing the reeds, the next most firm reed is going to be this one, the Harry Hartman Fiber Reed Hard. To me, I'm going to call this the similar to a Rico two and three quarters, if they made such a thing. Next, we have these two reeds the Laguerre Signature 2.5 and the Fibrocell 4.5, they both feel like a Rico number three to me. And then the firmest read of all was the Laguerre Signature 2 and 3 quarters and the Laguerre Studio 2 and 3 quarters, which felt like I was playing a Rico three and a quarter read if Rico made such a thing. There are so many synthetic reeds out there nowadays. They all cost around $25 to $30 each. And so it's a hard decision to make. Do I want to get this one or not? What strengths should I get? I hope this video was at least a little bit of help for you in making your decisions. See you next time.